couldn't resist this. Here is our Muslima beauty who is going to tell us all about her work history. Now, I haven't watched it, but I can almost guarantee that a lot of what she's going to say, if not all of what she's going to say, is going to be lies or, um, as I said in another video earlier, strands of truth, just strands, glimpses of truth, but the rest being fabrication, just enough to make us think that there's something, you know, something truthful or all is truthful about what she says. I'd be very, very surprised if that's the case. She was sacked, I think, from three jobs, um, and notably the one where she worked in the hospital and where she actually sued them for wrongful dismissal. But let's see what she's got to say. Because since I'm a YouTuber, I've gotten a lot of, get a job, you dirt, you freaking lazy bum. Here you are. <laughs> so, <laughs> here's the thing, I did have, um, I've been working my whole life since I'm 16. Nice. Um, you were in a group home. Hi! Come show yourself more. <clears throat> you were in a group home. So yummy. Probably where you have to do some work for your Shows keep. Pizza. So I thought, yeah, I thought I would just tell you, like, everywhere I've worked, up until YouTube. Because I do consider YouTube a job, because I put time and hours into making videos, yeah. you know. You get money for nothing. And I get paid, and I pay my bills with that, or I pay whatever with it, you know. And you pay Maybe. your man for your man with that. Mm. Don't you? So good. When I started making money on YouTube, that's when I considered it a job where I could have enough to pay for things, you know? Yeah, at first it wasn't, she wasn't making much. Nada era came in and she was making up to $20,000 a month. So let's go back to when I was 16. According to her, one, one month. I was living take, in a group home. Take your time. Yeah, you were living in a group home. I got home. kicked out of my home for being a beezer. No, you weren't a beezer. You faked suicide. I don't my mom had actually taught me a lot of things whenever she kicked me out of the nest. I mean, she still gave me money and she still invited me over for dinner every day. Mm. But the group home was an amazing experience for me. I met one of my best friends there. <laughs> we were roommates. Cellmates. Look how she eats. And she had nine inch nail posters. She was obsessed with nine inch nails with Trent Reznor. Oh my gosh. So. Very thin crust. Take the time, it's hard when you're making things up. So anyway, at this group home, they wanted you to be productive. They promoted productivity and youth. Ah, and so they had the opportunity for a few of us to... I was one of the more behaved people there, actually. Were you? My roommate and I. Um, go to this job. It was like job zone. Cornwall, Ontario. This place that places you in a job. And then the place can decide if they want it. Like, I think the place pays, pays them, like a placement agency for youth. So it wasn't a real job, it's something that you had to do. So I got placed at New York Fries, like six twenty-five an hour or something. Be your keep. I didn't like it because it was so much work for a little pay. Yeah, poor thing. A lot of the time I was working on my own. So I was responsible to like, clean all the fryers. One time I cleaned all the fryers, which took forever to scrub the back of the fryer. Put everything away. My bad. But if you don't do that early, here's the thing with working in fast food. 
if you don't do it early, like maybe start half an hour until close, at least start. You're going to be staying late, and you're not going to get paid for that. The eating sounds and the jaw clicking is awful. So, one time, three minutes until close, because you can't close, close. Technically, a customer could come in at, let's say you're closing at, at 9, the mall closed at 9. 8.59, you have to serve them. You, Bobby, being such a... A huge family came, ordered like seven poutines. A considerate customer, haven't you, Chantal? It was crazy. I cried. <laughs> so then... Click, click. Munch, munch. Um, I eventually just got fired for like missing too many days. <laughs> oh, that's the first one you got fired from. So then after that, I went and moved in to live with a friend and slept on her couch. Shop loads of unique second-hand styles. The one who was hosting, like, um, a man from China. And he would come down at five in the morning and slurp noodles. And slurp you, probably. While I'm right there sleeping. Mm -hmm. So, I didn't get much sleep to go to work. <laughs> but anyway, I found a job. My mom's neighbor at the time, the one who looked like and sounded like Ned Flanders. Anyway, he got me a job. He was the manager at a place called. <laughs> I had a place called Ridgewood. It was a place where you make, like, cheap furniture. <laughs> and it was an industrial area where the bus didn't go. Too often, and I was on a late shift. And sometimes I would walk the whole way. It took me an hour. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was uh, a very decent day. You might have done travel with me for an hour. I was like 17 at this time. To go to work. Dial up internet was still a thing. Yeah, I'm old. <laughs> Hi! Don't be camera shy. Anyway. Labor jobs? Oh my gosh. I swear I'd be doing the same repetitive thing. Like you do now with your food. Taking this board, putting it on the machine press, taking it off. Look bangs every day. I would look day. at the clock and it would feel like hours and it was only minutes. Looking, I didn't even smoke that much back then and I started just so I could go on smoke breaks. Because and complain about the job with others because that's where everyone went to complain about the job. The smoke area. There was one Karen, she was very popular. Every smoke break. Yeah, I've been here like 13 years. They can't even give me an extra vacation. Can give me my extra week of vacation when I want it. <laughs> but I would be like, yeah, go. Eventually, I, they laid me off because I sucked at the job, I think. So I that's two you, got, two you got sucked from. I don't know there was that's a third. Like paid. Mm. How much was it? Maybe 12 an hour or something like that? And what did you do with your money? And this whole time I'm attending high school, okay? <laughs> so then, there was always layoffs in factories like that. Mm. It's still open today. Layoffs. In regards to people My like neighbor you. Sally, he passed away. We were having a family barbecue and the cops came over and said, have you seen your neighbor lately? Actually, no, we haven't. They checked, sure enough. <clears throat> he, was, he was deceased in his home. Heart attack, rest in peace, Ned Flanders. So then... It doesn't stop you eating saying something like that, does it? Gotten. After that, 
after that, I went to New York with my family on a trip. And uh, where did I work after that? The hospital. I had a few odd jobs. Worked at a day for a day in a bakery. <laughs> Couldn't figure out how to tie the cake boxes with that rope, so I just got let go. <laughs> they let you go as I well. Sad, sad about it. That's then true. Then I went to the seafood restaurant in the kitchen. They were hiring, and I thought I was going to be a waitress. But I swear they looked at me, and they're like, nah, you can work in the kitchen. All of the people they, they, they made waitresses were like the hot, thin, blonde, you know. Yeah, they didn't want you front of house. <laughs> well, they wouldn't be able to maneuver between the tables. One time I dropped the whole bin of chowder everywhere. Oh, what a disaster. <clears throat> Another one was telemarketing is the worst. Oh, my gosh. Selling pantyhose. One minute you're employee of the week, scamming people into buying crap they don't want, like encyclopedias. I would do a good scammer. The next you're laid off because you're not productive enough and selling enough. That's Another four. One, or five. Getting people to buy. Getting the floor cl carpet clean. I think the whole time I worked there, two weeks, one customer. You'd go in, the woman would rip a page from the phone book, give it to you, call all these numbers. I bet they got through for you the one books. customer I was so grateful for because it made me happy. She got like the total package. You can have one room for like blah blah blah, or you can have three rooms for blah blah blah. Anyway, she's like, okay. I was like, sorry. She's like, sure. I was like, all three rooms. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Let me sign you up. <clears throat> anyway, the guy never paid us. He went like bankrupt and. Scammed us out of being paid or something. I don't know. I went to cash my paycheck and it bounced. Only one customer in two weeks. I can see why. So that's four you were sacked from. Man, if I owned that business, I wouldn't hire people to call the phone book. I would just do it myself. Mm. Anyway, so that was a crappy job. Then I was focusing on, I went to Katina Vic. Um, I traveled around Canada volunteer working. Volunteers. Where I worked for free for 40 hours a week. Very rewarding work. I told you about the women's shelter. We also did, that was in Mattawa, Ontario. But how did you use um, it as voluntary? I don't remember how much the telemarketing jobs paid. I think no. they were a lot of commission based. Oh, yeah. Maybe $11 an hour. Could you even think they gave you 21 bucks a week I spent on cigarettes? Mm. Or booze. I've moved it forward a bit because it's going on, but um, now she's come up to where she was working for a doctor and she's prevaricating and fabricating. You'll get the gist of it, but it brings her on to her, her last job. Um, bear in mind, she's already been sacked from five. My boss took me back. She knew I worked hard. Um, that and my friend at the office, like, we're like, please take her back. <laughs> We're like working together. Then I worked at the psychiatric hospital. Got let go. Got let go. Six. I knew it was because I didn't get along with my my boss. No, it wasn't just that. She was, was a it? doctor. <clears throat> I was very set in her ways and was used to having the same secretary for 23 years. And we just didn't match. Um, my mental health was deteriorating as well. And I couldn't make it for 7 a.m. I hated it. You were lazy. All lazy. So, I came in late a lot. Which isn't good, but I don't have the best work ethic, work ethic, I'm sure you can imagine. No, you know. When I'm unmotivated and not feeling well, you're nervous of being, like, shunned for my work. <laughs> um, but it was unionized, and the hospital paid me off. They gave me a really nice sum of money that I could live off for a while while I was looking for another job. You're just full of contradictions. So I'm going to take a break, mental break. So I stayed home. And... Also because I was wrongfully dismissed, Wrong. I argued that with unemployment. I was also getting unemployment on top of that. <clears throat> but they deducted the money. So you got a got from settlement, settlement from them. Anyway. Mm. I was making, I started as a temp position um, in the schizophrenia ward. 
and I was making 25 something an hour. Can you imagine? From fifth gets ten dollars more an hour than where I was before. Then I applied because I knew my time, my temp position was a maternity leave. I, my time was up, but I had access to internal applications uh, system. So I applied for an opening as a level three secretary, more of responsibility. Even though that just for let you go. Eight something an hour, and amazing benefits. You know, Doesn't vacation, you don't have to work holidays. Um, in the the like um, another department. In another department. They knew your work, I see. So. Don't understand it. That's enough. I remember the union calling me in, or my boss emailed me. So there's a meeting with the union and management at 11.30. I said, all right, well, I have to set up the boardroom for a meeting and take minutes. They're like, no, 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 you know, the other secretary will do it. I said, okay. And I was like nervous. I'm like, uh-oh, I'm going to get canned. I'm going to get canned. You knew why as well. You know that feeling? I was like, oh, no. No, so, I don't but then know. But when I got in the boardroom and the, and the union and the management talked to me, said, sign this form, you know, um, don't give, like, details exactly of what's written in the uh, termination paper. And we'll give you so-and-so, like, thousands of dollars. And, um, yada, Just yada, yada. Get rid of her. And you can go home now. So in my head, I was like, and they brought a box of Kleenex. <laughs> uh, I don't mean, I'm sorry, but they, they brought a box of Kleenex to the boardroom, thinking I'm going to cry for my position. And my, my eyes were as dry as ever. I'm not, I'm, I, was a little, I was a little crap, okay? I'm not going to lie. I, I admit, when I heard this, I was thinking in my head, okay, so you're going to terminate my position, which I don't like anyways, mm. um, give me thousands of dollars, mm. and then I'm going to get unemployment. Heck yeah, sign me up. Great. So that's the good thing. It was a really nice place to work in. And, you know, it, you could have a long career there. That's the thing. She went in late, you know? left early, um, spent so the time on personal that was, uh, that. And then I was, stuff. Oh, I I'm going to just do, I was started watching more YouTube since I had more time. And a friend was not to scratch. I'm going to start doing makeup. So I started doing makeup. Didn't really get that many views, maybe 50 views or something. Then I made a video, Meet Your Haters. I was started watching Amber Lynn and I couldn't for the life of me understand why all of these people who like just seem like a bunch of hip miserable hypocrites to me were making so many videos about the pettiest stupidest things and and you know just it got a lot of att attention because nobody dare challenge them right so all, people started turning on me and well the rest is history folks she became a youtuber and youtube became her career now bear in mind she was let go from about six jobs this is who she is hmm What a disgrace.